let's go to my man JLZ. Your boy Ari was 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 a whimpering last night, man. Oh man, I, I had heard, to talk I him off the, the ledge, man. I heard the replay, man. Yo, man, uh, Ari, uh, Ari was hurting last night. Oh my god! I really had to talk him off the ledge. Ari, what's going on, bro? All right, guys. All right, so I, I'm feeling a little better today. Uh, yesterday was rough, but um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I, yeah. I could, I, I don't know what world I'm living in. Honestly, I couldn't like, I can't believe that people are absolving this front office of any responsibility of what happened. There are people in the chat right now saying that the Knicks are going to win 50 games next year. Oh, there's no and chance. And that we're going to be in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, right. no, no. There's no chance. I, I don't, don't even under, see them making the playoffs. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 to 40. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll preface, I'll preface this quick rant with the fact that the Knicks did get better and that we didn't, you know, we thank God we didn't sign any long-term deals, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That being yeah. said, that being said, this front office is 100% responsible for this disaster of a free agent team. Let me explain some of you. Yeah. Every single signing was trash besides Alfred Payton, okay? What Literally, were you this for? is no different than Trey Burke. This is, I'm, I'm, out of your top 10 free agencies, no Bogdanovich, um, no, oh, yeah. no Morris twin, no Darren, Con no anybody. Literally, no anybody. This is no different than Trey Burke, Emmanuel Moutier. Mario Hazonia and Noah Vonley. This is the same exact thing. Ari, okay? Ari, Ari. So I don't but they told hear... you. They told you what they were going to do. And they did it. They told you they were not going to overpay. I... They're not going to overpay for second tier guys. They weren't going to give D'Lo the max. And JL's just slide to you left a little bit. They're not going to give D'Lo the max. They weren't going to go get Tobias Harris. They weren't going to go get Jimmy Butler. They weren't going to, certainly weren't going to get Clay. So what? what did you want? They right, told I'm, you what they were going to do if no, they struck I, I, out, but, and they did it. Well, listen, all I'm saying is that all season long, we had every opportunity in the yeah. world to sign Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. How we do we know that? We through our hands. Clearly, we didn't. Why? You know why? Be Go ahead. Finish, finish why. Listen, finish why. Listen, you can't, you, can't, you, you, can't, you can't build a culture and then tank at the same time. It's ridiculous. There was no accountability for anyone the entire season. Uh, every time the Knicks lost, what you know what happened? Kevin Durant wanted to go to the Knicks in the beginning of the season, and then they lost. They lost the game. Then they lost another game. Then they lost another game. Then Dolan bans the fan. Then they lose another game. Then they lose another game. Then yeah. Dolan gets fined fifty thousand dollars for not letting the Daily News come into their into the into the what's the card the inner the, in a post game. All right. Then they keep on losing again, and the Nets keep on winning and winning. I don't think you guys realize how big of a deal this is. If you're 10 years old and you're growing up in New York City, yeah. you're going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan right now. Yeah, that's 20 fine. years from now, half the city is... No, it's not. We just legitimize right. the Brooklyn Nets as a destination. No, we didn't. We legitimize man. them. It is. So what happened when they yes, got KG and did. Paul Pierce? What happened when they got KG and Paul Pierce? You, you got to understand. That was completely different. They were, at the, they were at the end of their career. But everybody then, thought that, the was their, their that was their big three with Darren Actually, and everything. Everybody sure. thought the Nets were taking over. They had the cover of Sports Illustrated. They were the talk of the mm -hmm. town. And it all went into the garbage. Yes, all these kids coming up now Listen. are either LeBron fans, Golden State fans. No, none of that is going to change. None nope. of that is going to change. No, I'm just... What I'm saying is that the, the precedent is now set for big time free agents to go to the B squad. The same way LeBron set the precedent for the big three and super teams, now future superstars are going to look at the Brooklyn Nets and be like, you know what? This is actually a destination I could go to in the future. And to suggest that it's not is ridiculous. It's, it's where's, naive. But where's it's the money going to come from? You know what I'm saying? Where's the money going to come from after you pay Kyrie, where's, you pay Katie, you're going to have to pay Dinwiddie? You're going to have no, to pay No, I'm LeVert. talking 10, 20 years from now. Oh, man. come on, Ari, man. Come on, Ari, man. Come on, Ari, man. We don't, come, on, Ari. No. come on, Ari, man. 10, 20 years down listen, the road. I, on, listen, everyone's telling us to be patient and, and all this stuff. And these Knicks fans that are always giving the benefit of the doubt to the, to the team being delusional because we love them so much, they're not doing justice for this team. You know, David Fisdale going after every post game and saying, you know what, they got to go through their lumps and smiling is not doing anything. It's not setting a culture, okay? Chris Stapps wanted to leave. 
Kevin Durant went to the B squad. Yeah. I mean, like, why are we sugarcoating this? It's, it's not, it's a not good about thing. sugarcoating. Like, you know what I mean? You've been, he had go ahead, Jay, for a year, dog. Right. Like, if, you we were just like, got the keys, man. We just got the keys. We got the keys. We got for a, a total of one season. Do you do realize that? It's been a total of one season. It's been one okay. year, man. All right. I but don't even watch them do lose not for manage. Years. But you can't you can't have them pay for the sins of things that's uh, been right. happening in the past 15, 20 years before they got here. I'm, t- I'm, I'm, t- I'm not so saying that. that. How, so you expected to don't win go after on the Michael K show? That was a mistake. I'll give Ari that, Jay. Okay, that was a mistake. Don't, 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 don't go. He did. He, Dolan me? Don't, don't did put make Kevin that Durant mistake. On your season ticket flyers. What are you talking? That about? that was real. I give ridiculous. Ari that. I give Ari that. When Dolan went on the K show and was like, "Oh well, well, you know, uh, we've been from what we've been told, uh, 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 you know, we we have confidence that we're gonna do good in the free agency." That wasn't good. That wasn't good. They took the, they took Steve, the they took Steve, the PR Steve, spin. Tim Hardaway Jr. That contract. They took the PR spin too far with that one, JL. Who are good. you signing at six o'clock? Man, it... Huh? Who are you... you signing at six o'clock? What do you? Six p.m. Who am I signing at six o'clock? Yeah, yesterday. If you if you could have done it over again and you didn't get Katie and Kyrie, who are you bringing here to satisfy? Again, again, yourself? again. again. <laughs> I would have okay. I mean, listen. I like I like the Alfred Payton signing. I would have targeted one of the Morris twins. I would have tried to get Bogdan Bogdanovich. I liked him too. But forget about that. It has nothing to do with that. I, I prefaced this entire rant with saying that the Knicks didn't do a bad job in free agency. Yeah. They did not do. They did not get the job done though. And yes. just, just pretend like it's like not a big deal is ridiculous to me. And I it's just, it's just this kind of thinking. It just doesn't. It's never going to effectuate change in whatsoever. It's, it's I just that, don't like. Man. I don't like that. That that that. All right, appreciate appreciate the call, Jay. I'll just slide to you left. My bad, Ari. We got mad calls on the switchboard. He's not wrong, Jay Ellis. We can we can walk and chew gum at the same time. Yes, yesterday was a disaster on many fronts. It was an indictment on our team. It was an indictment on the brand. It was an indictment on on the the ownership, the the management, whatever you want to call it. But at the same time, you have to move forward. We have no choice. It's not about sugarcoating. But Yo, you, I'm not, I'm not you can't blame over. Ninja P for everything that happened in the past. But we're still paying for it. It's, it's funny because everybody wanted RJ. But to, to get RJ, we had to be in the position that we were in last season. Right. Like, you, 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 you like, so we got RJ. Everybody's happy we have RJ. If RJ turns out to be pretty good for the next 10 years or so, and he's on our team, I don't know if people are going to be complaining as much, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll see how that we'll see how that works out. I'll, and you know what? At the same time, yeah, I love I love Kate, Kevin Durant. I would love to have had Kate, KD and Kyrie here, even with the risk of Kyrie maybe imploding <laughs> our team, because that is that's still definitely a risk. But at the same time, they're going towards the tail end of their career, more so KD. <laughs> that's right. So the, so re- the end- yeah, go ahead, go ahead, finish, finish your point. At the end of the day, even if we don't get him, it's not doom and gloom because we still have a bunch of young players here that's going to help us sustain cap flexibility and actually grow the team for more long-term success. We were not realistic in understanding that these people don't care about saving the Knicks. They don't care, man. We're not ready yet. Point blank, period. We are not ready yet. You know what it is? You know what it is? I never thought that... I never thought that KD wanted to save the Knicks. It wasn't realistic. To me, I thought he was going to come here for for money and endorsements. That's really what I thought it was. He could have gotten that anywhere. He could have gotten $50 million more staying at Golden State, and he went to the Nets and took less so that DeAndre Jordan could eat. It wasn't even about the money. And not even about that, and also the... The, res- the biggest thing was the respect, too. Yeah. But I feel like a few things changed when he got injured. You know, it was like... Everything changed when he everything, got injured. Everything, everything changed when he got injured very yeah. much. Like, I felt like, in a weird way, the respect came when he got injured. <laughs> right. So it was like... The, that 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 thought that I have to move somewhere and carry a team by myself, I don't think it's as big as his mind as it is now. And I was watching something else that said that him and Kyrie might have something planned 
to come out together. I think it was it was it. Did you did you see that CP? I I didn't. But what I did see when they when they leaked the Kyrie thing on Saturday, all these people was like, oh, that means KD can't be going because he wouldn't be you know following somebody else's coattails. Like why wouldn't he? He yeah. just he just played three damn seasons with the best damn team in the league. Why would he follow we all Kyrie? Thought he was trying to- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Because we all, yeah, we all thought he was trying to do his own thing, but yeah, he was trying to change that narrative. He was trying he to change he was trying the narrative. To get away from the that narrative and go to state. Facts, facts. So, so that's why everybody believed. It. Facts, and we and we're gonna get to the calls. We got man calls. Um, salute to everybody in the chat. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. I just feel like you can't compare. If we're being realist, you can't compare a team that won forty games and made the six seed in the playoffs. To a team that won 17, regardless if they were intentionally tanking games or not, we did not have the talent to win. We did not have the talent to win. We were young, we were inexperienced, and we just did not have the talent to win. It was all about young guys and training up the young guys and seeing half. And it sucks that we don't have KD and Kyrie, but. Now we know this potential in Mitch yeah. Robinson and and Alonzo Trail, who we brought back, who wasn't even drafted. Yeah. But we found out he was something good because we were tanking and we threw him out there. Right. <laughs> so, you know, you, you can't just listen, just, Perry just got here, man. Let him he still has to create co- correct the mistakes of the past. Right, and you see, he's trying to do that. He brought in Alfred Payton. What does that mean? He has no faith in Frank. I've been telling you this from the beginning. They're yeah. trying to get this kid out of here, and they can't. So, yeah. so they keep bringing in guys over him. All right, yeah. Frank. Frank is done. They do not have confidence in Frank. He has. Do you to... have confidence in the workout video, CP? No, forget that, man. 